Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. I've been better, but I've been a whole heck of a lot worse. So we're counting our blessings and we're leaving it at that. I got a couple days off at home on medical leave and we're not talking anymore about that either. So I'm just throwing some cards down, try to make myself somewhat useful. Okay, dear Gemini friends, tis your season. You shall go first to this cycle. All right, so this reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do. You must have been good cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, because it is general reading, it might not. That's okay, too. You can check your Moon, Rising, your Venus, Sun readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and may be placed for us. might even fly out from the perspective of the cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross-watchers are always welcome here at the Fireside and Terror Table. Everybody's always welcome, and I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. Oof. Okay, two quick things before we get into the cards. Um, one, very important. Hmm. The star and the queen of wands. We'll see if they come back out. Hmm. Where was I? Oh, yeah, two things we got to bring up. First thing's very important. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It is just not a good idea. I wouldn't recommend it. I've been reading tarot for years, so. <laughs> Two. If it is not your reading, not your story, not your message at all, is not vibing in with you in any way, shape, or form, or not making sense in your life, please leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not your message. And I'll say it again. It's not always going to be your message, Gemini. <laughs> That's not how tarot works, friends. Especially when you're doing general readings for, well, the globe. So, you know. Anyway. Hop right to it. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any message you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for June 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. Let's bring Gemini to the highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Gemini, why are you here? Queen of Wands, what do you know? She came back out. Okay. It's, she got it going on, first of all. She is fire. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with, either Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Maybe you have fire somewhere in your chart. She's very intuitive. She's pretty good looking. She's holding a wand, so um, for those of you who know a thing about tarot, you know what I'm talking about. For those of you who don't know a thing or two about tarot, I got to dance around that. Look it up. It speaks of passion and action. Put it to you that way. Sugar and spice and all things nice. Know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Okay. What's next? What happened? Two of Wands. Two of Wands in your past, Gemini. Releasing something in your past and moving forward to the future. Chasing the world in your hand. But it's a crossroads card. It's in the upright, so that's a good thing. If it was in the reverse, you may have been stuck as to where to go. I don't think you were stuck. I think you picked a path and went with it because it's pretty much what Geminis do. <sighs> Two, yeah, yeah, four swords, laying something to rest, walking away. Just kind of having chill time. Okay, we're gonna just relax and let things be, and we're gonna heal, and we're gonna rest, okay? Okay, here and now, Nine of Swords, what are you all like, ah, about? That's the Sleepless Nights cards, friends. That, that's like, uh, I'm up at night because my brain is going a thousand miles an hour. I don't know what to do. Maybe it has something to do with her. I don't know. And... Put, insert your pronoun, okay? I, I I have subscribers that are women. I have subscribers that are men. Insert your pronoun. It might have something to do with this fire sign person. I don't know. That's why we're throwing down cards. Future. King of Wands reversed. Losing passion. Not moving forward with something. Getting stuck. 
Could be avoidance of confrontation. I don't know. We'll clarify it in a second. Nine of Cups reversed. Ooh, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And here's why. This is the not putting positive things in your cup card. This is the having a little bit too much fun card. Like toxic levels of it, potentially. Like that thing that you really enjoy doing. Drugs, alcohol, gambling, sex, whatever. Mm. Toxic levels of whatever fills your cup. In a not positive way. Next. All right. Bottom of the deck. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Codependency. Not knowing one's self-worth. I don't like that. That sucks. Hmm. All right. Eight of Swords reversed next to the Two of Wands. Okay, so back to that. You walked away from it. You moved toward the world, your future, picked your path, whatever it was that was putting you in a cage of your own thoughts, go. That's not, that's not bad news. Tell you that right now, you did the right thing. And nobody told you that you did the right thing, you did the right thing. Ace of Wands. Hmm. I'm not going to say it again. For those of you who watch me or other readers, you know what the wands mean. You know what the Ace of Wands means? I will explain it very briefly, dancing around it. It's a new start in passion or action. It's a new things coming your way because you let something else go. It's not a bad thing. Okay, now addressing this Nine of Wands. Or sorry, Nine of Swords. Eight of Wands. Okay. Tracking, tracking. Things may be happening a little bit too quickly. The Eight of Wands indicates fast communication, fast moving messages, things moving very quickly. They may be moving a little bit too quickly. Fair enough. Okay. All right. Again, we're not even to the clarification point yet, so I'm just explaining every card for... All of our new Gemini subscribers that may be out there somewhere. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. I'm going to clarify that King of Wands here in a minute. Next to this Eight of Wands, it could mean just things need to slow down. Foundations need to be built to get to that Ten of Pentacles. The big brick house with the white picket fence and the 2.5 kids and the dog and the pool in the back and the nice car out front. And the big old back porch sipping lemonade someday, watching the grandkids play in the backyard and the fireflies. I mean, it's the dream. It's what everybody wants. It's stability. It's... Yeah. Yeah. Who the heck wouldn't want that? I mean... Alright. The death card. Just to clarify, for those of you who are new here, death does not mean physical death in the tarot every time it comes out. It is a card of evolution. It's... I, I really hate using 
this phrase because it's used so much, but it's it's a caterpillar going into the cocoon and becoming a butterfly. It's it's when you change physically and emotionally and spiritually. You're a different person. You're not who you were. Hmm. Okay. Set these aside for a minute. Do, 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 do. Where'd you go? You're right there. Okay. Let's get clarity, shall we? Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards in the table for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for June I hate it when they land sideways because I don't know which way to take them. Mm, it's more it's more upside down than it is right side up. King of Swords reversed. Making decisions based on emotions, not necessarily um on logic. First thought popping in my head. Maybe possibly a bad attitude in there somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. Could be. It's a general reading. If it works for you, take it. If it doesn't, leave it on the table. It's whatevs. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Oh, shoot. Um, wow. Why the Five of Cups? King of Wands reversed. I'm sensing fear and anxiety. I'm not sure if it's yours. I don't know. I think this is the person you're dealing with, Gemini. I mean, if it's you, if it resonates with you, cool. But I think for some of you, it went flip-flop. I don't know. The cool thing about the tarot, right? It can go either way. It depends on the reader's perspective and the perspective of the watcher. So, what do you want? You want to talk. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. 
let go, released, patiently waited, and patiently waited for things to fruit, patiently waited for the right time. I don't know. Why seven pentacles? One card. Queen of Wands reversed. How do you pick a path you want to go down and then sit on it? Biding your time, possibly. Not moving forward. This is the path I'm going to go down, and I'm going to let this go, but I'm going to stand right here at this intersection for a minute and just wait. I'm waiting on a bus. I'm waiting on a cab. Why is it a sword's reversed here? Nine of Cups reversed. Whatever it was you released, whatever it was that had you up in a cage in your own thoughts that you had to walk away from, you had to break free out of that cage, it was not filling your cups. You weren't happy. Well, that's a great reason to leave something, you know? If you're not happy, you're not happy. Chariot reversed. No forward moving. Stopping that chariot dead in its tracks. Okay. Okay. I don't think we need to beat that dead horse anymore. I get it. You walked away from something. What's the four of swords? Strength. Card of Leo. If it's setting off an alarm in your brain, great. If it's not... Sorry, this is very uncomfortable. It's not setting off an alarm in your brain. Leave it on the table. Discusses the polarities in a relationship. It discusses trust. Takes an awful lot of trust for that little lady to know that that lion's not going to hurt her. And it takes an awful lot of trust out of that lion to not attack her. Because... Lions only really attack when they're hungry or they're threatened. He's very docile at the moment. Just kind of chilling. Fly strength. Karma. Endings of cycles, beginnings of new ones. It's the judgment card in other decks. It's allowing a cycle to end and a new cycle to begin. Laying something to rest. Regaining trust in yourself. Okay, I get the point. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Hi. Seven of Wands reversed. Internal struggles. I'm leaving that there. I'm not going to clarify that. Seven of Wands in the reverse speaks of internal battles and struggles, um, fighting one's demons. I'm not even going to clarify it. Yeah, I am. Why the Seven of Wands reversed? You knew I was going to clarify it. I'm a nosy Sagittarius. I got to know. Moving forward anyway, I don't care if the demons are getting me down because they're not going to put me in a cage of my own thoughts. I'm doing new stuff, new things, new people. I'm doing this. Forget my demons, they too shall pass away. Okay, cool. All right, why is the... Uh... Let's let that be. Why is the Nine of Swords here? What's keeping you up? Queen of Cups came out in reverse. It 
someone emotionally unavailable? Is it you or is it them? I think it has something to do with this. Why the Queen of Cups reversed? Ten of Cups reversed. Somebody's sad and not showing it. And it has you all up in a tizzy. Because they may not be saying how they feel. Okay. Or you're guarding your feelings and you don't want to say how you're feeling. I mean, take it out it resonates. Why the Eight of Wands? Two swords reversed. Impossible decisions. No matter what I do, somebody's going to get hurt. Why the two swords reversed? Secrets coming out, things coming to light. Things always look different in the moonlight than they do in the sunshine. And the moon reversed is the sun coming back out. And the smoke and mirrors being lifted and walking out of the fun house. And you're all wibbly wobbly because there's the sunshine. Oh God. Back to reality again. Reality is somebody has an impossible decision to make and I don't know who it is, you or them. Maybe both of you, I don't know. So Things are currently at a stop or about to be at a stop or slowed down because of the Ten of Pentacles. Huh. All right. Why is the King of Wands reversed here? Why the King of Wands reversed? The Magician. All the tools before you. Tis only the beginning of the journey. It's one card away from the fool. The fool is the one on the journey. That's why it's the zero card. That's step one. You're only at step one. I don't think somebody's too thrilled about only being at step one, if this is resonating with you, Gemini, but you're only at step one. Why the magician? The Page of Cups. I think somebody is about to let some emotions go. Just a little. Just a little. Somebody's about to communicate feelings. Just a little. Hmm. Can I get one on this Page of Cups? Queen of Swords reversed. Somebody may have a little bit of an attitude problem. Just a little. 
just a little or it's the not necessarily telling the truth about how they feel could swing either way the Queen of Swords in the reverse has a tendency to say, the hell with it, I'm done. <laughs> also an air sign card, so if you're dealing with another air sign, I mean, tis what it is, what it is. But, never you fret. The future, the cards only tell a possible or potential future. It's what you do with the message. Buy the Ten of Pentacles. The shadow side. In the particular deck I'm using, that is the devil card. It speaks of binding connections, soulmate connections. It's definitely binding. A lot of hot, passionate stuff going on. <laughs> Possibly. Also, potentially toxic. Why the shadow side? Two of cups. Reversed. Huh. Why the two of cups reversed? I mean, it could speak of potentially disconnecting from toxic things or toxic connections. Or other binding connections. Hi, come out and say hi. Page of Swords. Lack of communication. I don't see that ending well. Gosh, Gemini, I'm sorry. You know, it takes time to get the Ten of Pentacles. It takes time. Earth is slow moving energy. And oftentimes, when you're dealing with slow moving energy, it gets boring. Especially for air signs, because they kind of like to go. They're like the wind. I gotta get this done. It's not nearly as bad as dealing with a fire sign, because air signs think it through a little bit better, and they plan. They don't plan it to the letter, like, say, an earth sign would. But they're, they're the planners, the, earth sign, the air signs are the thinkers. Air signs are the thinkers, fire signs are the doers. That's how I've always looked at it. Hmm. All right, why is the Nine of Cups reversed here? It's not over yet. 
We still got a couple cards to clarify. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. There may be a bump in the road coming up for some of you, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Priestess reversed. That is not listening to one's intuition. That is letting your ego get in the way. I don't know who. Could be you. Could be them. One on the high priestess reversed. Eight of Cups reversed, Justice reversed. You got a twofer. Why Justice reversed? Two of Pentacles reversed. Returning from something that was out of balance to restore balance. Leveling a playing field. Hmm. Why is death here? Six of swords reversed. Things have evolved. Things have changed. Two return cards. Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why'd you have to... Okay. Give me a second. I have... Just hold on. Okay. That was painful. Okay. Okay. New start in love. Usually aces are something new. Why the ace of cups? Seven of Swords reversed, speaking truth, returning with the truth. The ultimate soulmate card. The High Priest. The Blessed Union. Wow, Gemini. <sighs> Not a bad ending after all, huh? Well, there's a bump in the road coming up for sure because somebody wants to go, 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 and the other person's like, no, 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 I don't know who's who at this point. But I think one of you needs to disconnect or is about to go disconnect from something else that is binding. Communication may be sparse. It's the I want to, but I can't right now. That's what I keep hearing. I want to, but I can't right now. I want to, but I can't right now. It's I just it's resonating in my head. I don't know why. I want to, but I can't right now. It's only step one. It's only step one. It was a long journey. Step one. This is the manifestation portion. This is the getting your ducks in a row so you can get to this. 
It's a slow, long journey. Which means you gotta slow it down. It's not necessarily a dead stop. The King of Wands is not necessarily a dead stop. It's a you gotta slow it down. I know, Gemini, it's hard because you want to go, but you can't. And I'm knocking cards on the table at this off the table at this point. All right, I'll pick those up in a second. I gotta get your advice. Hold on. I can't keep lifting my foot up and down because it's just horribly hurting right now. The advice may or may not have anything to do with the message at hand. Ace of Cups reversed and the Six of Swords. If something isn't filling your cup or making you emotionally happy, don't stick around. I know that's a hard thing to say, but sometimes we get ourselves in patterns where we stick around just because and when we're not happy. Why? Strength in the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> it is going to take strength. It is going to take patience. It may even take a little bit of holding back. Because you want to go, 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 and you can't. You have to trust the journey. You have to trust that you were at the first of ten. You were at step one. And it is a slow process. So, don't hang out with people that don't fill your cups. Don't hang out in situations where you're not happy. Trust your judgment that you were at the first of ten pentacles, that it is a long journey. The fool reversed and the emperor reversed. Success never came from not jumping. Super weird. Wow. Wow. I don't know why. Super weird. I meditate on that for a second. Success never came from not jumping, but if you are in a position where you shouldn't be jumping, don't. If you don't have your life together, don't jump. It's part of a process. Take things slow. Get your life together. The star reversed and the nine of pentacles. Okay, this is a very important piece of advice to whoever needs it. Healing is a process. Okay? Story versed in the Nine of Pentacles. Healing is a process. And sometimes it's okay to be alone for a while. That's okay. Sometimes you just gotta work on you. And that's not a bad thing. All right. This is like 40 minutes, guys, and I need to get up and move around. So, much love. Be blessed. Have one hell of a June. Thanks for stopping by, and I will catch you guys later.